Hey there, Segudo Golfers. Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf, and you're about to see the happiest golfer in the world. His name is Roberto, and he lives in the islands of Madeira, Portugal. And over the course of one month, 30 days, Roberto and I went through a series of video chat online golf lessons in which he experienced one of the biggest transformations in his golfing life. But this transformation isn't just happening in Portugal. It's happening with golfers all over the world through the Stack and Tilt Simplified Golf Learning System and my online golf school, Segudo.com. Here is Roberto's story, and I hope you enjoy seeing his progress through the learning system. I think you'll agree that he is the happiest golfer in the world. Uh, two days ago, when I, when I went to the, to the driving range, when I hit that ball, I didn't believe what happened. Were different guys, friends of mine, there in the driving range, and they look at me and say, what the hell happened now? <laughs> they didn't believe it. And, uh, it, and, and it was strange because I, when I arrived at the field, uh, I didn't have any time to, to practice uh, uh, any ball because my tee off, my tee off is, is, was running late. And I didn't practice, I didn't warm up, nothing. I didn't know what is going to happen. So, a friend of mine, and well, I didn't say anything, first tee. And normally I hit an hybrid and I have a dog leg at left. It's a short uh, hole, uh, 300 and 330 or something, or, or 310. And I took my uh, five iron. Yeah. And he said, five iron, you used to play here an hybrid. You say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just check checking one thing. <laughs> I hit the five iron and it passed 180. So it, it went to the other fairway. <laughs> I did 180, carry. Okay, because it's it's all that it's going it's downhill, okay, so it's easy to that, to have that that kind of mark. But I I lost the ball on the first on the first strike and went to the second hole with my driver. I never hit the driver, as you know, here in my garage because I don't have space. And it's a ravine. It's a big hole. <laughs> Everyone lose the ball up there. The hole is 360 yards. And I went and I did all the things that you told me with the driver, okay? All the movements, but I hit the driver. You can't believe it. I, I was 80 meters to the flag. I hit 250 meters, 250 meters. I did, I did the par uh, because I normally go on, I was 80 meters. I went with my pitch, not full swing, but I feel comfortable, and I did that. Beautiful shot, goes over the green. I did some wonderful shots. I remember when I was almost uh, 190 yards, okay? I went with my four, four iron, it's a difficult hole, I hit so well. The ball stayed five feet from the flag on the, on the green. I never did that. So what? I, I was playing this now. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> I went to the driving range, and then for the first time I did all that you said. Okay. And I only missed in I don't know 100 balls. I only missed two or three, but all the clubs, all the clubs. I hit so well, and I, I did with my, I have a distance range, a range distance, and I, I, I saw the, the, the right distance in yards and in meters. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was, I, I'm, I have dreams with this. You spent, you spent a whole month in the garage, not seeing two, the ball. Almost, almost two months. Two months. Since March 13, March 13, and I start with you at the April 10. <laughs> Yeah, so with you in one month, and I, I went there, I did that, and I did first on the on the carpet, in the driving range, and then I put uh, ten meters ahead to the to the where is uh, some grass to see, but the, let's see, it's the same thing, and it was the same thing, and the divot was always always in front, 
and the guys were saying, what the hell happened with you? <laughs> Even if I, I, I was doing bad, I was hitting so, so good <laughs> for my normal standards. <laughs> and I, I hit a driver, Tom, I hit a driver. It passed the limits of the driving range. It's talking about 270 meters, 280 meters. So you're talking about almost 300 yards. I didn't believe that. But was a guy with me and saw it. It's, the ball went off. It's what? <laughs> yeah, off. So, I don't know what you did, but <laughs> I think it's more. It works. <laughs> they said, "Why are you putting your your weight on the left side?" Was, oh, yeah, for me it makes sense for me because I I don't move. I only do one movement. The, the path of the club is the same. I put the, ha the hands around me, behind the, the, the right shoulder, left shoulder down. So I have only one movement, one ball position for every club that I have. So for, for me, it's simple. It makes sense. I just don't move and change the swing every club that I, uh, that I grab. It makes sense. You go, hmm, okay, let me try it. <laughs> A guy tried. <laughs> and the ball disappeared. <laughs> <You're>, what? <laughs> For one hour in driving range, it was a, I don't know, it was born a new player. I was so happy, of course. So, ah, and I forgot to say something. I did, actually I did two or three draws that I want to do. <laughs> with the seven iron, with the six iron, and actually I did that with the driver. It was crazy, Tom. It was very crazy. It, it, you don't imagine how awkward what it was seeing me hitting like that. Because I, it never happened. Uh, I have three years and a half of golf. I never, I only see this kind of, I, went, I only saw in, in Madeira this kind of hitting in distance. And uh, the ball was so high, so high uh, in players that have handicap. Five, four, three, plus one. Uh, the normal guys, it's it, they don't hit like I was hitting. So it was very awkward to me. So this is very good, very good stuff. You are a new player. Congratulations. <laughs> no, thanks to you. Congratulations. Congrats to you. Your evolution method <laughs> it worked. <laughs> if it worked with me, 4, it worked with everybody. 4,000 miles. Yeah. I don't I don't know if you have any students so far as me. Maybe you have. <laughs> but, well, it happened. It, if it works with me, it works with anybody. I'm sure. So I'm, so I'm very happy, Tom. Thank you. You hit a golf ball before all of this. You, I mean, you went into your garage, but you hit golf balls before you got into your garage. And you saw your old swing. You, you, you remember what that looked like. And then for you to go inside, yeah. you went inside for two months and you didn't see where the ball was going at all. And then to yeah. come outside and then hit the ball and then see a completely different ball, higher, farther. <laughs>
very good. It's going to be. Ah, and then I went to the the chipping <laughs> part. <laughs> so it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Then, and even if I didn't do uh, a full swing, I put so many amount of of backspin, and the ball hit on the floor and almost stopped immediately. And I I said, now I want to to aim to that flag or to that hole and I, I, I could and I did with different ways the face clap open closed <laughs> downhill uphill because we have a <laughs> shipping area that kind of things and I hit it all this wow wow <laughs> so, I, don't know, I don't know what's going to happen but I'm sure I, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing golf now what I feel when you said, uh, and I saw your videos, this is completely different. It's effortless, effortless swing. It's easy. It's the same position. It's the same. It's, come on. Why nobody talks about this? This is so easy. It works with everybody. <laughs> and I, 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 I was, if I was in the mirror, I was doing like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> if you were seeing me, yeah, yeah it's absolutely true. I need to say this to, to the other people. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. This was very, I'm talking about one day. Very good. No, very good. Uh, you know what? Why, why for me, why for me so so important? Because because of my, my work, I have a so stress and stress work. So I need to have my, my head clear during the week. And uh, for the last uh, three years, I have the goal for me is, is a, a big hobby. I go to the to the to the course. I don't think any, anything, and I just play with my friends. It's so good, it clears my mind, and I have a good environment, a good companionship. It's very good. That's why it's important to me to have a good golf during the weekend. It helps me to have a good week in work, and when I have a, 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 a difficult day. It's, I, I just think it's okay, tomorrow is another day, in two days from now I'm going to play golf. So golf for me is very important because of my work. So that's very good, thank you. The, the guys from here from Madeira that hit the driver outside the bounds of the, 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 the driving range. It's, oh my god, and I did that. And the ball in the... In the um, it was strange because the ball of, of the driver, it wasn't just so high that it, it's like you said it's going to be higher um, the ball uh, first is not uh, completely up it is it's uh, up slowly up and then continuous to 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 go front but not uh, not up but it went so far it went so far so far it was a beautiful it's what was beautiful to watch. It was very good. And one guy was uh, uh, besides me, and he said, "No, oh, you shoot a six iron." I was no. It was a six. Now I had. This is a six. Not this is a nine. Now you're seeing backwards. Now it's a it's a six. You know it's a nine. <laughs> Three words.